Economists are now predicting that over the next five years, the biggest fossil fuel giants in the world are set to lose billions and billions of dollars. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. You know what? You can see there's a smile on my face. Yeah, this is, guys, this is good news because fossil fuel giants, they have actively spent money, a lot of money, lobbying against EVs, lobbying against renewable energy, supporting all these ridiculous narratives about solar and wind and batteries saying how bad they are and they don't work and they just break and EV batteries last for five years, all this kind of really silly stuff. But a lot of people who are uh, not very particularly intelligent believe this. They they open the newspaper and they go, oh, well, look what this, the, the, the newspaper says, this is the case. Uh, EVs will only last for five years and then you need to replace the battery pack. Oh, oh never buy an electric car. This is the kind of message that, um, well, simpletons read this stuff and they believe it. They genuinely do believe this stuff really, really easily and quickly. I've had people send me all kinds of guys. My goodness, some of the emails that I've received from people, it, you you start to realize that not everyone has the same level of intelligence. A lot of people are just very, very easily led by the media. And a lot of this is coming from these fossil fuel companies because they're scared about what's about to happen. Australia's gas and coal exporters are headed for multi-billion dollar losses and collapse potentially over the next five years. L literally, economists are saying that many of these fossil fuel companies will collapse. And this is not just about Australia. They're saying that this will happen even to American companies, possibly even in the Middle East as well. Over the next five years, the reason this will happen is because fossil fuel prices will keep tumbling from the unprecedented highs reached after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. That's never going to happen again. Shipments of fossil fuels, fuels were the biggest drivers behind two straight years of record export revenue from Australia and America's resources industries in 2022 and 2023, as the end of COVID-19 lockdowns reignited energy demand and the war in Ukraine choked global supplies, causing a scramble for spare cargo and, of course, huge price rises and therefore record profits for big oil companies. But economists are now saying that well united in saying this, that that's not going to happen again. And that over the next five years, many of those companies, which have been almost artificially propped up by this uh, increase in demand, that demand is going to go down drastically. Woodside and Santos, the two top Australian shippers of liquefied natural gas, made the biggest profits in their history between 2022 and 2023, as did local coal producers Whitehaven, New Hope, and Yan Coal. Well, I've reported on the closure uh, and the imminent closure of more than 100 coal power plants worldwide over the past 12 months. And, well, who's going to buy all this coal? Because China's demand for coal is finally going down. They're, they're installing an insane amount of renewable energy in China. And because those, renewable, those renewables, particularly solar and batteries, are now so much cheaper in China, there's just no incentive for the Chinese uh, local governments to continue building these coal power plants. So some of them, many of them, will close down as a result of renewable energy. The latest export forecast, which were just published within the last few days, warned that earnings from coal and gas shipments are on track for massive falls over the coming five years. The projected declines from recent peaks have prompted, um, basically they've prompted governments to start uh, looking at where they're going to get money from. Because, you know, the Australian and the US governments, we're getting a lot of money from these exports of, of fossil fuels, particularly in America, you guys from crude oil. Here in Australia, it's us from coal. Um, but demand is going to collapse, experts are saying. That's a timely reminder that revenue upgrades will be substantially smaller than those in our first two budgets, said the Australian government. The resources and energy sectors continue to make a big contribution to our economy, but over the next few years, that will change. LNG revenue is expected to reduce. Coal revenue is expected to go down. 
and and the question is when is this going to start happening well experts are saying that 2025 is when demand will shrink 2026 it will shrink more 2027 it will continue to shrink even more this also applies to cars as more and more people buy electric cars as the price of batteries come continues to come down as ev prices continue to come down we hit that pivot point more and more people um, move to evs very very quickly and demand for fossil fuels comes down very fast we're going to see bankruptcies of coal power companies of uh, gasoline companies that we're going to happen they're going to happen left right and center it's going to be a very very scary time you're going to be opening the the, the news seeing the news and going whoa this company's collapsed this company's collapsed whoa 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 it's going to be the fastest period transition period in the history of the world some people are saying the hastening global shift to clean energy raises questions about the role as well of gas which we don't talk about in a decarbonizing world some projections indicate it will remain an indispensable part of the world's energy mix alongside renewable energy for decades but others believe that natural gas will collapse as well what are your thoughts on this let me know what you think now one expert said this while highly uncertain as to its trajectory gas is expected to reduce over the long term as major global economies target net zero in the near to medium term demand is expected to remain strong but that will change as renewable energy becomes a bigger part of grids worldwide. The value of a coal exports is also going to drop drastically. Overall, resource and energy exports are forecast to be a fraction of what they are today by, we, by the time we hit 2030. Now, no one really knows exactly how hard some of these companies are going to fall but i really think it's going to happen much quicker than what many experts believe it's probably time to buckle up and get ready make sure that you're investing in the right sectors to take advantage of this because sometimes when one sector goes down another one goes up thanks for watching